still here. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thanks for sticking around. We know you're Thanks busy. Thanks for having me. No, it's fine. No problem. I like it. All right, so it's Tuesday, so yes. that means a whole bunch of new albums from some of our favorite artists coming out today. Today. We're excited. Exactly. Well, Headley's new album is called Storms. It is yes. out today. Everyone's very excited. Now, this is their fourth album. In my opinion, it's a very strong one. It's got a lot of personal lyrics, which I'm sure you can relate to. Yeah. Being a I, I definitely love this album already. Headley's awesome. Jacob is hilarious. <laughs> very hilarious. funny. Backstage and on stage. So, um. Yeah, you were just telling us a story <laughs> about <laughs> yeah. Sir Jacob. Yeah, Sir Jacob. Sir Jacob, whoa. <laughs> yeah, he's quite the beauty. Um, we, I had something, uh, it was an autograph signing. It was for Fanfare. Much fanfare yeah. yeah. And, uh. There was basically a note, and it was a picture of a wee-wee. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, who sent this? And I was with Carl Wolf and Danny Fernandez, and they were a like, that was, that was Jacob. <laughs> and they were like, why are you still holding it? I was like, I'm, I'm so embarrassed right now. See, they have the, he has the two sides. He can be very thoughtful, like Invincible, and he can yeah. be very silly. But did you know there's a collaboration with Babyface on the album? Wow. Yeah. No, I actually haven't heard That's the most interesting part about Storms. I'm I haven't heard it yet, but I'm really looking forward to, to listening yeah. to it today. Lots of great ballads, I mm -hmm. think, on that album. We're going to yeah, hear a lot of new songs from them, too, Friday for the Live at Much with Headley. Do not forget, 7 p.m. right here on Much. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. All right, this is the one I'm excited about. It's the Breaking Dawn Part 1 soundtrack. <laughs> now, Keisha, are you a twi a twi hard? what they call them? A twi hard. I don't know if I'm a twi I'm like a twi medium. <laughs> <laughs> I, a love, I love the first uh, film, and then, I don't know, I've been really busy having a chance to really keep up with the whole thing. Right, but well, you got to do a marathon before this comes out. But until then, listen to the soundtrack, because it's yes. got some awesome artists like um, Bruno Mars with, his, with the lead single, and then Christina Perry, which is uh, the song that you're listening to right now, which is a thousand years yeah. and Theophilus London is on it so it's the uh, he's cool the lesser known artist as well as the really known artist which yes. is kind of cool so whether you like Twilight or not you should just like check out the soundtracks because you can learn about new artists and you can figure out new stuff you know to google and yeah, download they have and a lot of good music in their films though I yeah, have to say they have, like, the selection is pretty from a whole bunch awesome. of different genres which is yeah. what I think is really cool yeah yeah all right next we're gonna get to the new kid on the block Mac Miller um, his album Blue Slide Park is actually named after his childhood hangout spot which is pretty yeah. cool and there's all this hype surrounding this album and him and it's a debut album so what do we think of Mac? Well, I think he's one to watch just because of the hype. Everyone's really building it up. But technically, he's a really good rapper, from yeah, what I've heard. And I think he has this, like, mainstream appeal, too, because he's sort of, like, I don't know, just the videos are sort of mainstream. He's got, like, an attitude about him I think is good. Kind of like Wiz Khalifa, who he's actually friends with, too. Yeah, they've kind of got a mentor, like, mentee relationship, yeah. which is Have you heard cool. much? Mac Not Miller? too, too much. I'm pretty new to it, but I feel for me, anytime there's new music out there, I'm just, I, I want to get it, I want to get it. So I'll definitely be getting it just to, to kind of learn. Yeah, yeah, check them out. Well, our last one. Uh, of course, I'm talking I about your album. You would never <laughs> mention me. Who? <laughs> no, me. you leave the best for last. So, so yes, Night and Day is in Source Day, which we, which we kind of talked about. But here's the thing. You know when you release an album, there's always competition on the day yeah. of release, and everyone's watching the numbers. So do you ever feel that trickle down? Um, you know what? I'm, I'm actually excited about the album. Um, it did, like, number one. It was number yes. two. Number one dance, number two um, R&B already for just pre-orders alone. So I'm really excited that the fans have been supporting it. It's not about that for me at the mm -hmm. end of the day, though. I have to say I love singing. I love performing. I love meeting people. That, to me, is is just the best. So, yeah, I don't really take it, all that. Does it feel cool to be, like, in the company of these artists that we just mentioned in those albums? Yeah. I mean, I love to be just following my dream and, and seeing other people do the same thing. I obviously really love Headley, but I really, uh, it's a congratulations to everyone. Mm -hmm. We all got albums coming out. That's major. So I'm excited. Yes. Yeah. Pick them all up. And we're so <laughs> excited because you're sticking around with us yes. to perform. I gotta get ready. So don't go anywhere.